Windows power options typically come preset to try to save energy. That sounds like a great idea, but it can cause issues with certain programs like Procare that rely on a steady connection to your main computer. This can cause random freeze-ups and lost connections. Let's take a look at how to change those settings in Windows 7, although the concepts here apply to any version of Windows. We're going to go to the Start button of Windows and choose Control Panel. Inside the Control Panel, we'll scroll down until we get to Power Options. We'll go to Power Options. In here, there are a number of choices to make. First, you'll notice that the Balance plan is selected by default. We're going to come down here and we want to show additional plans. So we'll click the little down arrow. We're going to mark High Performance and then choose Change Plan Settings. The first setting on the screen is Turn Off the Display. This means how long your monitor will stay on before it powers off. In most cases, this doesn't matter. You could have it set to most anything unless you're using this computer as a check-in station for children or staff. In that case, you're going to want to set it to never so that people don't come to the check-in computer and have the monitor uh, powered off. Another option called put the computer to sleep should be set to never. So we're going to click the little drop down arrow, we'll scroll down to the bottom of the list here and choose never. And we're going to go ahead and make one more change and this one's really important. It's under change advanced power settings, something that's easy to overlook. We're going to go into change advanced and the key thing here is to look at the settings for the hard disk. We're going to click the plus sign next to the hard disk. What we don't want to have happen is we don't want the hard drive, the hard disk, to turn off, especially on the main computer. We're going to click the little plus sign there, and you'll see in my example it's set to 20 minutes. So I'll click on the number of minutes, and then you just arrow this down to zero or never, just till you get to the lowest possible setting here. We've got it down to never. And then we'll go ahead and say OK and then save changes and we're back to the power selection setting. Notice it now is marked for high performance. Next we want to go back to the control panel itself. We can do that in Windows 7 with this link on the left and we want to look at settings for device manager. Device manager controls things such as your network adapter otherwise known as a network interface card or NIC and again we don't want this device to go to sleep. So under Network Adapters, you'll click the little arrow to open up that section. And then we'll double click on the adapter itself. Now you may have more than one and you would probably want to change the setting for each network adapter. I just have one listed. I'll double click. And in the upper right, I want to go to Power Management. And under Power Management, there's a setting called Allow the Computer to Turn This Device Off to Save Power. Well, we don't want that to happen. So we're going to uncheck that we'll say OK. We'll go ahead and close Device Manager, close our control panel, and the very last thing we'll need to do is go to the Start button of Windows and remember to restart the computer. You'll also want to go to each of your computers and make sure that the power options are set appropriately. And that's what you need to know about power options for Windows.